on a Friday afternoon at 4 o'clock when most kids would want to be anywhere but school, dozens of boys and girls are in classrooms at Calcutt Middle School in Central Falls. Not because they have to be, but because they want to be. And that's because after 90 minutes of homework or tutoring, they hit the gym with top-notch soccer coaches and former professional players to work on their skills and to play a game they love. These kids think they're in a soccer program. They're not. They're in a personal responsibility program, I like to call it. Peter Wheelton helped found Project Goal a decade ago when it was just 20 kids at a Providence Middle School. Along with co-founders Darius Scherzati and Javier Centeno, who both played for the Rhode Island Stingrays soccer team, they have built a program that now serves 80 inner city student athletes a week. The middle and high school students come primarily from Providence, Pawtucket, and Central Falls. They gather Tuesdays and Fridays at 3.30 sharp. If they don't get to their classroom on time, it delays their getting down to the gym or field by the number of minutes they are late. With Project Goal, you can't belong to a gang. We make the kids sign a contract. They have to bring their work. We're, we're your gang. And to stay in the program, you've got to keep your nose clean. You've got to do your work. And as you probably have already found out, if you uh, mess up in any way, you didn't bring your work, or we had a bad report from your day school during the day, or you, you uh, gave one of our teachers a hard time, then you're in what we call redirect. Basically, you're in with another teacher for another hour and a half. We drop kids from the program for repeating. It gets their attention pretty quickly, doesn't it? It works, because it, we've got teeth in the program and the kids know it. We've had... And there are others lined up out the door waiting to take their 150 kids try to get in and there's only a few spots. Darius Shirzadi says the message to the kids is clear. Hey, you got to be on time. You know, it, that exists in the program. When you get out into the real world, that's, that's very important. You have to be responsible. I mean, if you're not going to be here, you have to let us know that you're not going to be here. It can't come from... Uh, a parent can't come from a sibling, it can't come from a friend. Javier Centeno knows firsthand how crucial keeping up the academics can be. His family moved to Central Falls from Columbia when he was 11. The only thing I knew was soccer, 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 soccer. I was not putting too much effort into my school and it became very detrimental. Why? Because, you know, I moved on to the high school, Central Falls High School. I graduated from there in 1985 and um, I made all state as a soccer player, and I had uh, Providence College and URI, they were willing to give me a scholarship, but when they saw my grades, they were not that good, so I couldn't go to Division One school. So Centeno went to CCRI, but sometimes thinks about what could have been. If back then when I was growing up, if I was involved in a program like Project Goal, I think that my life would have been different, especially academic. And because he is from Central Falls, Centeno's relationship with many of the kids here has gone beyond Project Goal. I could be driving down the street of Central Falls at 11 o'clock at night. I'd be seeing the kids 12 years old at 12, 12 o'clock at night. You know, it's like I stop and I tell them what's going on. You know, you're supposed to be home. And so this is the relationship that we have. So I could pick up with the kids who are going to stay and do good and the kids that are going to just go and different ways. Is it tough to see some of those kids wash out and, and not make the program because you know what's going to happen to them? It's always tough. It's always tough because, you know, we want these kids to have an opportunity. We want these kids to have a better future, a better life, you know, uh, and sometimes they just don't get it, you know. So as much as we have to let them go, it hurts us because they're just missing out on a great program that is going to give them opportunities that it's going to open them doors to have a better future. Masamba So is originally from Senegal. He saw an ad in the newspaper a couple of years back for a coaching position with Project Goal and jumped on it. So says there has been an increased emphasis on how to play the game. Years past, we were just coming to the gym and uh, make teams and just play. But I realized after we play uh, a tournament last month, that the skills weren't there. This year I started to, to uh, have some, some exercise, some, some skills, did the first 45 minutes of, of the hour and a half. Then we, the last 45 minutes we play games. It gets pretty competitive, kids slam into doors, some go down, they get the ball in the gut and whatever. And they're teaching moments there, are they not? Yes. And what, what do you teach them on the field? One of the things that we're trying to teach them is how to play as a team. Because a lot of these kids, they're not well trained 
and they think that, you know, it's one against ten. Over the past decade, 30 Project Goal students have gone on to private schools, almost all with scholarships. A total of 500 boys and girls have gone through the program over the past decade. The budget is about $100,000 a year, all from donations and grants. Project Goal hires seven teachers and three coaches, many bilingual. The kids pay nothing. I was thinking about, you know, how awful it would be for my own kids not to be able to participate in something because we just didn't have the money or they couldn't get there. Um, if it was something that they really wanted to pursue, especially if it could create opportunities for them down the line, whether it be through sports or through academics. Ana Cano Morales, the head of the Central Falls Board of Trustees, grew up in the city and has a sixth grade son in the program. It's his second year with Project Goal. I have seen a, a kid who was um, an introvert by, by nature. Uh, his personality is not like his mother's and very much an extrovert. Uh, he's much more guarded, much more reserved, um, shy. Um, his confidence has blossomed. And what about the soccer element? Much more of an organized player. Um, he, uh, again, the self-confidence isn't just in the classroom. The self-confidence goes across um, the way to, to soccer as well. So you think so, that's the underpinning? If absolutely. academically they're there, then it carries out. We've actually used the analogy of soccer in a soccer game um, when he's preparing for a test. Frances Kamara is also in her second year at Project Goal and is an eighth grader at the Wheeler School. What are you learning out there from the soccer standpoint when you're out there in the gym? Well, I'm learning teamwork and I'm also learning my soccer skills as a player because when also Project Goal has helped me when I'm on the soccer field to play for Wheeler, they've helped me how to pass the ball better. They've learned, they've given me skills for better communication and it's really helped me on the soccer field. What has surprised you about this program? The impact that we've been able to make, uh, particularly in this community where you see some of the data and percentages of kids who graduate from high school and don't, um, that Pretty much everybody that comes through the program and completes it through high school, they graduate. Do you think they get how important, that, even at this young age, do they get what they're getting? I want to say, yeah, you know, not at the beginning, but as the, as the program goes on, the time goes on, and they're within the program, they get it after a while. You can't spend any time with these kids and not want to spend more time with them. You can't walk into a Project Goal classroom and see on a Friday afternoon uh, after school, the kids have been in school all day long, they've got their heads down, they're doing their work, you've got a mentor from college sitting next to them in many cases, working on their schoolwork so they can go play soccer later. In Central Falls, Jim Hummel for the Hummel Spotlight.